did you know about the eschatological or end times connection? To so I wanted to follow up from my video yesterday as it gets far more exciting the more we get into this. I'm also going to try and fit this into about three minutes so hopefully I run out of time again. And you should also hear me better as I have a nice little clip on mic now. So just to quickly recap, we have Luke 19, the parable of ten minas. So Jesus is talking about a nobleman who's going on a, a journey to receive kingly authority. He leaves servants in place with money to sort out their his business while he's away. The there's a delegation of people who follow him who don't want him to be king to rule over them, and they go to complain. And eventually he comes back, he is a king, they can't stop him becoming king, and he then says, bring those people and slaughter them in my presence. So this is talking about Jesus. He goes away to receive power and authority uh, before God, which is in Daniel 7, which I mentioned in the last video. He comes back as a king, and he has he goes to then slaughter the people who opposed him, which sounds really harsh, but that's the way it is. And this links to the Roman Jewish war in between 66 and 70 AD. And there's lots of other clues for this throughout the New Testament in Jesus' teachings, like Matthew 24, uh, Luke 21, Mark, I forgot the chapter number for it. What, they got this. They talk about that. There's other parts where Jesus talks about like all of the blood of the prophets coming upon this generation. They'll be counted for it. Things like that. so. While there are prophetic statements and things for a more future, like far future, our future still, a lot of these statements that he's making are now past to us, but future to Jesus and the apostles at the time. And I can already see I'm running out of time for this three minute video, so it might have to be another video after this. So Luke 21. It says, they will fall by the edge of the sword and be led, to, led captive into all the nations and Jerusalem will be trampled by the Gentiles until the time of the Gentiles is... This is when the temple was abandoned by God and he let the Roman armies come in and smite Jerusalem, basically, as punishment. And we see a similar thing happens in... Ezekiel 10 talking about the first temple destruction where it says the glory of the Lord went out from the threshold of the house and stopped above the cherubim It's prophecy of God leaving the temple and Josephus talks about a similar thing happening in this 70 AD period Where a voice was heard in the temple saying we are departing hence 